Whoa. Hello, Midgardians, and welcome back to another wonderful day of videos. Today we are playing the Volverland Expo. It is a first-person marketing simulator that's been set in an abandoned convention center after the expo was mysteriously canceled. What could possibly be going on? The future's future has been cancelled. Let's get into it. Okay, um... I had a cursor for a minute. Don't know why I had a cursor for a minute. Can we take a minute and just appreciate what they did? This is actually kind of badass. What the hell is that noise? Oh. Shit. I don't like this already. The convention center is now closed. Please leave via the nearest exit. Serious Sam, Shadow Warrior 3, The Weird West. I don't know how to actually pronounce that. Carrion, I've heard of that. I can't see what you are. Blightbound? The Chill Zone! Woohoo! Huh? That wasn't very chillful. What? The fuck is that? I don't know what it was. I activated it. I activated it. Oh god, it's scanning me. I got busted. Okay. Okay, so you... They want you to be stealthful. Okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. The future is now. Really? How do you equip? What do we equip? Okay, come on. Okay, ooh, ooh, come on, ooh, ooh. I said that, isn't it what you want it? Attendees are reminded that if 
Exhibitor merchandise is off limits. <laughs> What is this? This is a t-shirt gun. This is a fucking t-shirt gun. <laughs> yeah, well. I just wish we had a, uh, wish we had a fucking flash. Hmm. I just fucking shoot everything. He apologizes for the lack of options in this area. You should be. You should be sorry. I'm sorry, this shit's just fun. Security room, I'm trying. Hey look, t shirt. What is with all the Ulu? up there how the fuck do I get up there that's just a t-shirt can again ah! uh, but it won't let me climb What do you expect me to get there? It's gotta be the Weird West game. Good shot that bitch. Yeah. I 
really don't know why. This is bullshit. this I can't knock over the mannequin I feel really stupid right now. I don't know.
Wow, I feel like an idiot. Can't make me. Are you fucking kidding me? Yo, is this how they're really doing their expo? Okay, this is a fucking good way during quarantine. Yo, that's some John Carpenter's The Thing shit there. <laughs> okay. That was cool. I wanna play. previous box. Oh. I can 
game in development. We okay, I didn't this even have a chance Rafael to press Antonio, creative director and president of Warfi Studios, and I'm here today to tell you about our current game in development, Weird West. At its core, Weird West is an action RPG set in a fantasy reimagining of the Wild West. I've seen you this. play through the adventures of five heroes that have intertwined destinies on a quest to unveil one of the biggest mysteries of the Weird West. While we describe Weird West as an action RPG, some would actually refer to the game as an immersive sim. There are many elements that set Weird West apart from any other action RPG out there, and I would love to show you a few examples now. First, the simulation and sandbox nature of Weird West. The bulk of the team is composed of co-creators of Dishonored and Prey, so simulation is like a religion to us. It is in our DNA to let the players play their own way. Weird West is designed in a way that accommodates many playstyles and many playthroughs. Whether you like combat or trickery or stealth or a mix of all of that, you'll enjoy experimenting with the tools the game offers in a system-rich and physically simulated world. Next, the setting and visual direction. The setting is Weird West, you guessed it. It's an opportunity for us to explore a genre that has been kept underground, and we're excited about bringing our own take on it. As far as the visuals, we're going for a mix of 3D with hand-drawn textures and uncommon palettes that we think bring a unique style to the game. We want our world to be instantly recognizable and convey the mystery that is so important to the experience. Now, let's talk about how scripted versus how dynamic is the experience. While the game has a main quest, the events and the quests outside of the main path make use of what we call the conductor, which creates events and crafts a narrative that is specific to each playthrough. For example, let's say you kill one of these merchants while the other one escapes. The survivor will throw a vendetta at you and chances are they'll ambush you later when you expect it the least. This participates to the feeling of a very tailored experience, per player. Finally, one more thing I wanted to mention is that your actions are permanent in Weird West. While you may resurrect when killed, your companion won't resurrect if you did not have a chance to revive them on time. And whatever choices you have made will stay in the game. So, stealing shops and killing people have consequences you cannot discard by coming back in time with a simple game reload. We think it is a powerful way to give meaning to your actions and keep the tension high. That's about it for today. We have a few more surprises that I can't wait to talk about, but we're keeping some of these for later. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and please stay tuned for future news about Weird West. This is Raphael Colantonio, creative director and president of Wolfi Studio. Right. That was pretty cool. Tell you about our current game in development. Oh, that's disturbing. Why is his nipples erect? of five heroes that have intertwined destinies on a quest to unveil one of the biggest mysteries of the universe. Oh, I picked up a secret! Yay! To the game as an immersive sim. I got, but I got something. I'm just, I'm being a psycho. This is as creepy as fuck.
Oh shit. Proceed through the next hall. How do you get to said next hall? This is how you do fucking conventions. Um. Damn good question. I'm trying to figure it out myself. That was weird. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, big boy. You defile this place with your presence. Your curiosity will end you. I sure hope so. Who's talking to me? I gotta go the way the big robot went and disappeared. You will never reach the inner sand. Hmm. Shit gets harder. It's a bathroom. Yo, am I gonna find Dr. Disrespect in here? Am I gonna find anything in here? Was this? Nope. Oh, fuck. How did I get busted? Come on, game. You fucking whore. Oh, fuck off.
I feel like a moron. Right, Lisa. You shall not pass. Okay, so that is the credits. Is that it? No. Uh. Gotcha. I can hear you scream like a rat. What the fuck? Thin. <laughs> Unannounced game. Yeah. He made the fucking ground shake. Must be the big robot. Yep, I saw that happening. You are fit. We are Skeleton Crew Studio from Kyoto, Japan, and we invite you to take a sneak peek at the story, mechanics, and the challenges in your all new game, Oria. What is with everybody in this 8 bit shit? Oria is an action adventure game that takes place in the land of Terraphage, a lost world home to forgotten creatures, vast ruins, deep caverns, and rainforest top islands. You are Faraday, a shipwreck captain. You follow his adventure to rescue his lost crewmen, leading them to a safe return to their homeland. Now, on his pursuit of salvation, Faraday is guided to an ancient harpoon of great power. It awakens ancient enemies who slumbered in the depths of Terraphage. I'd like to introduce the world of Olier. Wild, dark, unpredictable as an ambient dream. You will venture through many different islands on your search for a way out. You will travel through jungles and caverns, visit sites of old relic and ruins. Each land presents new challenges and new opportunities for you on your quest to escape this shadowy land. Next, combat. Combat is at the forefront of Olea, with visceral systems that challenge the way you think about space. You can dash and teleport using the harpoon, and then immediately face hand-to-hand -hand combat with minions spawned from the darkness. Crafting and downing magic hats give you additional power, including dashing and wall jumping, spitting acid, and controlling and generating electricity. Puzzles complement battle sequence by rethinking movement through a maze-like world. There are five major boss battles in Olea. Each one introduces a new character's story, as well as new combat mechanics. By mastering each attack system, you will take down these bosses and be handsomely rewarded with new areas to explore and new mechanics to unlock. Oh! Olia is an experience we poured ourselves into. Will you lead Faraday, master the harpoon, save the castaways, and solve the mystery that surrounds Olia? I gotta say, I probably won't. But if that was actually... 
more than we invite you to take a sneak peek at the story, yeah. mechanics, I would love and challenges to play the game. all new game all year. He's talking to me again. To overcome mounting odds, solve clever puzzles, and synchronize the. Behold, Blightbound, a cooperative dungeon crawler that tasks three heroes to venture down from their mountain refuge to face the abominations of the Blight, a mysterious and corrupting fog that enshrouds the land. Each player will choose a hero from one of three classes. Warrior. Forge Titan's might! Assassin. Let me at him. Or mage. My greatest power. Battle a terrifying horde of monstrous enemies and colossal bosses. Each class of hero fulfills a specific role on the team to overcome mounting odds. Solve clever puzzles and synchronize their ultimate abilities to unleash massive damage. Battle through three distinct lands, each with several dungeons to conquer, including the eerie Gravemark, the oppressive Underhold, and the precarious Blood Ridge. Steal your nerves and prepare once again to enter the Blight Warrior. We are Lightbow. Hmm. Okay, it's it's all right. <laughs> I've been playing way too much fucking sniper contracts. Well, you look familiar. You have seen too much. You will pay for your ignorance. It was good. Oh, no fucking serious. It was awesome. The truth is, they don't care. Let's watch this. I was an explorer once. Captain Sam Stone of the Surveyor. It was good. Hell, it was awesome. The truth is, they don't care about who we used to be or what we wanted to do. But they thought this was going to be easy. They came to the wrong fucking planet. Whoa! That was... No, it was awesome. Hmm. Don't know the how the fuck in... Take that one in.
I'm getting way too good with this gun. He is not happy. Dragon. So where's the Fall Guys booth at? Yeah, that's always terrifying. I swear to God, he moved. on earth <laughs> what the fresh fucking hell is this Been the nicest thing I've seen the whole time. This is so trippy. <laughs> Why does this look fucking fun? Oh god. Really? A Gordon Freeman one? That was so weird. So if I hurt them, they stay down. everybody good there's a collectible here and I need to find it there has to be a collectible I love how I got an achievement for that. Hey, Bonk. Oh wow, maybe there is a collectible in here. Wait, always oh, collectible. Had to be my most favorite one so far because it actually had caller. Really 
I beg the differ. It's called a t-shirt gun. Yep. Alright, where's the bunnies fucking? There's always a demon bunny fucking. Where is my water? Well, howdy, stranger. Bang. Where are you? Can you hear me? Demons. They're trying to break through the gates. I'll track you down. Wow, he's getting older. Woo. And they're getting scarier. <laughs> oh god Back our spirit buddy again. He was fun. Honey, I'm home. God damn it. I forgot how much I love that game. I know there's God to be some weird ass easter egg here I would totally go <gasps> these here ruins are pity Yes. You believe that I could not see this. I can throw the doors! <laughs> I have it. Oh, it's a fucking boss battle. Did they really add a boss battle? This is like a ridiculous. Ow. 
some of his monitors. Oh, that's a t-shirt cannon too. your court. Please tell me somebody's gonna be inside of it. That's hilarious. Oh, I love that. And that was Devolver Expo, Devolver Land Expo. I hope you enjoyed. That was a that was one of the better ways I could actually see having a convention while in quarantine. But as always, be good to one another, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!